Okay, man. What's up, everybody? Um, I was going to make this video the same day I made the other video, but I just didn't feel like uploading it. So, right now, I'm going to get like a, a few things off my mind right now. So, I was in Game Chasers' uh, live stream again. The incident happened in, in his live stream again, where... Something happened. An incident happened again. And this is just like Raj the Bad Guy channel about like six months ago, seven months ago that I had to deal with. This this kind of shows that this is not a real man space anymore. These chat rooms and some of these channels are not men's spaces anymore because all you see is women causing trouble and drama and saying certain things to people that, that they shouldn't be saying. And they every time they think, these females think that they're going to get the same reaction from every man that they get that they used to. So, I was in Game Changers um, live stream chat you know, waiting for something to download. And he was on a topic about, you know, them not want to, them wanting to just cheat their way. Or I think that the topic was them being cheap about, you know, femininity and they're trying to shortcut things. So I made a comment about, I made a comment about how women of other races get a, a procedure down there. To tighten up their um their stuff down there, so they could present themselves in a better manner than than they was, so they can give the man a better sex life for the for the new man. They don't go out. They don't go out and give give the leftovers that they are finished with to other men. I mean to the man that they're going to pick last. They try their best to make themselves presentable. I have two instances where that happened where a female who I know from Tiny Chat who used to deal with black guys and then she got some kind she she got certain things done to herself in order to present herself in a better manner like she never messed with black guys and she spent a lot of money and some people said she had that procedure done. Same thing with an Asian chick who used to mess with black guys and she got that procedure done. Same thing with a white girl who was messing with black guys for two years and then she went back to white guys. So I'm doing my experiment and I'm not, I'm not talking to this chick. So I said this, women of other races don't try to pl try to play the guys they pick last. They get things like, I'm not going to say that cause I don't know if that's a, a bad word or whatever on here. To um, show the man he's getting something new and she got it for him. So I was just adding to the conversation. So as you know, this Jessica ch chick showed up on Mr. Fantastic and she'd been running Ruckstrat on every single body's panel making a thing. So now she ran into me and she didn't get the reaction that she thought she was going to get. Because I don't like the I don't like to go back and I don't like the reply or even or, or even conversate with women in men's spaces. So this is what she said. She thought she was gonna get a reaction, and look what I said. Wait, let me, uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? So my reply was, don't tag me, chick. I tagged her and let her know. Let this be the last time I, let this be the last time. Pretty much telling her, don't tag me and let this be the last time. I was talking to the, convers the, to the conversation, not some chick. So... Me just telling her straight up, she could have just walked away from the situation. Okay, he, this is a man space. He, he, he's here for the conversation for a man space. But she escalated the situation by saying this. 
mind you. Not a problem. You're clearly quite weird. I'm weird because I don't want to conversate with her or I'm weird because I'm not going to give her the validation she wants because I'm different. So she calls me weird, but then you see her on panels lying and saying she understands certain men and doing all this crazy stuff. And this is why I say this is the same thing I had running with the other chick that I'm going to show you how the other chick turn this whole chat that I had with her into a whole month thing, even to this month right now. It happened in May, and this chick is dragging it out, calling my name, calling me names, saying I'm not fem- I'm uh, I'm not masculine, and then had her little uh, lap dog say I'm weird and sh- I'm weird and I'm a stalker. Oh no no I'm a strange strange stalker. Even though I ain't said nothing to this guy, but. This is why I don't reply and say anything to these females in these chat rooms because they start trauma and trouble. And this is why I'm going to, you know, I'm going to from now on after this, when I see certain females in that chat room. That is problematic and I see them starting trauma, drama and trouble, I'm going to either block them out the chat so I don't have to ever see them again. Or. I'm just not going to contribute to the chat no more. And I'm going to choose to not watch that live while it's still going on. And I'm going to watch it on the playback. So I can just leave a comment on there if I like the video or whatever. Because this is getting ridiculous. And these dudes are, are even worse than the females because I don't know who this dude is. But he he's seen me in multiple chats. But it seemed like, you know, they only see certain people who they want to see. But I, I don't mind that because I like being a ghost. I, I used to be infamous on Facebook and everything. So it, n- not having notoriety in the chats is fine with me. But this whole thing isolated when she called me weird. So what I said before, I said this. I said, I can be rude. Well, well she said this. Uh, okay. I said this, I can be rude because I was here before you when I was in this space. I was in this space when it was only men. Before you, when this space was only men. I said, don't tag me. And that's all. I never called names. So, she escalated it by disrespecting me and calling me weird. And then then, her, then this other dude said, who's that? This dude seen me, this Omega... Alpha Omega seen me in many chats before, and as I seen him in many chats before, but it seemed like you got a lot of guys who so called SYSBM who wanna. I, I made that point clear in two of my videos about the fake red pills and the guys who come in who 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 who's using people's um who using people's uh movements for their own gain. But I'm gonna put it in here. You got some of these dudes in this chat. Who want to get off steam from the women they deal with in their life. But they they, they they act like they SYSBM, red pill and stuff. But then they go around conversating with chicks in the chat when it's supposed to be a man space. Just like a lot of these other dudes in here that I ran into but I'm not going to call their names. This dude right here, you know, jumped in it for no reason. When it wasn't about him. But he was trying to have a conversation with her. And they was having a conversation back and forth. But then she decided to tag me. And I told her, don't tag me. Then she called me, I'm quite weird. Because I didn't want her to tag me. And I don't want to interact with her. Then she said, well, I said, or oh, before that, I said, this is why we should not let women in men's spaces. I'm getting called names by some chick who was not here in 2014 when all this was made. And then after that, so keep it a man only experience and ignore what you don't like. You were rude anyway. I won't address you again. So she turns it back on me and says, I'm rude. But the fact is, you thought that she was going to get a certain reply because you got it from everybody else. And this is why I say that these females are entitled. And this just shows... 
what Baba Tunde talked about with these British chicks to be true. My first hand experience with this chick was the weakest, was the weirdest, was not even the, the, my first hand experience with this chick was just like a, a experience I would have with a, a, a black chick over here. And guess what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the similar experience. So, as you see her name, I didn't, I didn't actually say anything to this chick either. And then again, and mind you, this is back in, uh, back in May, on Sunday, two thousand, two thousand and uh, nineteen. But it was still May, because I had to go back to it, right? Because the, the live stream ain't there because his channel got hacked, right? So, I made a comment to the chat and to the conversation. And guess who said something to me? She said, small men's men don't get love. Small uh, breasts don't get low love. It had nothing to do with no women. And this is, this is the dishonesty that these females do because we know that no matter what a female looks like, even if she's fat and overweight, she still can get a kid and she still can get five men and go talk to her. But a guy who's small have to maneuver himself to go all around the world or somewhere where he's wanted. But she tries to make this stuff and then start laughing about it. Then, laugh out loud, see Brandon, so black men with smalls are not complaining about black women not showing them love. Thank you. If black men are leaving black women, then they're giving black women money. They still simping. And this is Brandon L dude that jumps on the chat and stuff and says, what giving. So, and I didn't see that. And I ain't, I didn't uh, talk about that. So you supposed to give, uh, women who don't like you down there money. For them to tell you that you got to do more in the bedroom because you're small. Instead of going with Asian women who used to it. And they will literally do anything in the bedroom for you. Because they're they're not going to sit back and try to make you do more because you're not packing or anything. And this is, look. And this is why I don't like females in chat. And this is what, this is, mind you, this is back in May. This is back in May. The second chick who tagged me that I got a problem with. And then she snowballed this whole thing into a different scenario that it should have never been. But look, Ashley, your complaint tells more about you. I'm surprised to have seen that and, and, and whatever. I don't feel like it. So it's funny that when it comes to them, everybody's supposed to uh, understand them and take everything what they can get from them. But when it comes to us, everything's funny. So, <laughs> I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to... So-called empathize with women who have small stuff, but they get a lot of men. Or fat women who get a lot of men. Or all these people who have flaws, and you want me to understand. I'm not, I'm not going to open that can of worms up no more. Cause, but this is just based off the whole Jessica thing, right? So, after that, she goes and insults me even more. And says this. Child, I'm laughing when I'm laughing now. Your grown man don't go around with complaints or tests. And MOT said the complete opposite about testing women and putting them through tests and putting them through the ringer. I will believe MOT over some old broad who talking who who turned on Reg 
talked about him, called his people slow, and then came up and then everything's fixed again. And then she just continued to talk down to me. Now, I'm going to get to the SYSBM, right? And I'm happy this kind of thing happened. I'm happy that this whole thing happened so I can refer to what happened all the months ago, back in May. Now, what happened at the end of the year. So, I got a theory about the situation that goes on right now. And and, and this is a, 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 a mostly video made. Because that was partly, I had to get that off my chest. This was made about the SYSBM and don't allow people to keep don't allow people to call themselves SYSBM when they don't follow the for that they don't you should put y'all should make rules and tenets for people to call themselves SYSBM there should be test there should be some some codes there should be some rules for people to call themselves SYSBM, you should check every single channel who says they SYSBM, ask them a few questions, and then you should grip it up and make sure that y'all have everything on lock so y'all don't have fake behind people in your movement. Because it's going to be just like MGTOW, just like the Red Pill, just like these spaces in the Mac Manosphere. You're going to see you're going to see a whole bunch of infiltrators and your movement going is going to be just a bunch of foolishness. Just like all the other movements are now. So, I got a, you know, a theory about what these women do and how these women really destroy men's spaces and they destroy the whole talk. They destroy everything that they in. Because if it's just men, you know, the 10 room, the, the 10 men in a room scenario, right? So, you have 10 men in a room, two smartest guys in a room. Two the most capable, and the two also make the money, make the group money. So you got two people, you got one as a leader, and you got the one who's second in command. Everything's going good, right? And then you introduce three women who don't make it about who's smartest, who's more capable, and who can make the whole group money. It's all about who they can find the most attractive and guys who they can turn against the other two and try to replace these two guys with the guys they choose. The scenarios that I just posted and showed you beforehand is that that's what is happening in, in these spaces. These women don't acknowledge the men and the women don't acknowledge certain people in these spaces because it's a popularity contest and we back in high school or something or back in college or something. Right. So they let the women disrespect the men so they can feel more powerful and be picked and chosen by these women, by these women. Right. These women play favoritism and they destroy the whole group entirely. So you might have these three women come in. And destroy everything. So three women turn three guys. And then get more women to turn the other five guys. Now the whole group is done. And the women took over and messed up the whole group. This is what's happening in these spaces out here. And this is what might happen in SYSBM. You might have a whole bunch of code. If you don't lock this down. You're going to have a whole bunch of infiltrators. And you're going to have a whole bunch of people. Who's going to be going back and forth with these women. Telling telling. What y'all are about and messing up y'all, y'all, y'all patterns and y'all movements. And it's going to, and, and it's thinking, they're, they're trying to do this now. SYSBM is, is getting traction because now they seeing that they should have paid attention to SYSBM. One dude on here, I'm going to say his name, Super Sly, made a whole entire video talking about SYSBM, making fun of them. You save yourself for what? Save yourself for what? Then he turns around and makes other videos that contradict himself because now he's seeing the numbers. Now, everybody who's talking about SYSBM being little, y'all small percent, y'all y'all weak, and y'all boring, and y'all lame. We not paying attention to y'all in the first place. And that's C Boogie Woods too. When he said, who cares about y'all disappearing? Who cares about this and stuff? Who cares about, we never paid attention to you in the first place. Guess what? 
There's a whole bunch of videos about SYSBM. There's a whole bunch of videos now about passport guys. The guys that were invisible, the guys that y'all didn't care about, now is a trending topic because now it's becoming clear and more clear that guess what? The guys who've been getting all the women, the guys who've been doing all, y'all gonna have to step your game up because now y'all y'all don't ha- y'all ain't gonna have all the simp's. Y'all ain't going to have all the backup men. Y'all not going to have guys taking women on dates. Y'all not going to have all these other guys. You're going to have to give these women attention. You're going to have to give these women money. You're going to have to do with the stuff that you didn't have to do before because these other guys was there playing the game. Now these guys are leaving, taking themselves out of the dating scene, and just completely getting a sex doll and being done with it. Now it's becoming more clearly that now these small group of men was the ones that everyone had to depend on. And when these guys are leaving, all these videos on, oh, we shouldn't have a mass exodus. You know, it's not like that, man. You Y'all should try to find these women because, you know, you you need to go into that, uh, that, that, that hill. You need to go into that landfill and try to find those five laptops that I put in that landfill so you can, so you can get some, some, s- a new MacBook too, just like I got a MacBook. They want you to go, they want you to do this needle in a haystack and continue to be dragging yourself through the mud. While one of the dudes said, I got, I got sons and I got daughters. I don't want all of this to to, to change. Pretty much, they, they looking out for their kids. They don't want that, they don't want, possibly, they don't want the best of men who can actually raise kids and make a great family they don't want their kids to have to pick from the Pookie and Ray Ray kids, daughters, uh, sons and daughters. They want you to come back and offer your kid up if you have kids and offer your kids up and be in the same situation you was before and mess with these same women. And guess what? They're going to use your kid like they try to use you. And it's going to be a never ending cycle when your kid is going to be just another person that they're going to use and their kids going to use. Because a lot of these guys didn't make their kids, made their kids better than them. But the whole point is they're trying to get you back and it's not working. So then are they coming out of nowhere with this jumping on panels like the general dude saying all this stuff. Then you have Gab, double sided talk, uh, you know, two faced Gab. Walk around here talking about SYSBM. You got the Taz and them talking about SYSBM. You got the, 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 uh, what's her name? Concrete Rose and the other chick. Now they got a channel talking about SYSBM. But a couple months ago, it was all jokes and games. All the nerds and the geeks, they need to go to the gym and blah, blah, blah. MOT is a heavy hitter knocking these, these game dudes out the park. I I put my little thing in there. King Sigma coming out of there with the with the stuff. All these SYS be a mad bus driver. Um uh Kitagakri Jones, man, um Xanato Clutch. He's out they out there knocking these dudes out the park and like they're showing you straight away that guess what? This is what we really are. We're not in drama. We're not we don't have criminal records. We can actually raise kids. In a right function. You gave this up. Because you wanted to have fun. So goodbye. And have, and have fun with the thugs. And guess what. The reality is setting in. That these so called warrior class black men. That they keep putting up for warrior class. Are taking them out. By the dozens. That female who got. Who got uh taken out in her own salon. By Pookie and Ray Ray. The girl who got uh taken out. On Snapchat. On her boyfriend, and when he was loading the gun, the guy who got uh popped by police after he uh popped the chick on on Facebook Live this year, and he then he got popped by the cops after he popped the girl. <laughs> These thugs, man, that y'all y'all rising up, they're showing you who they really are. And we was telling you this, we was telling you this, but you said we was hating. All the men was trying to tell you, oh, you need to step your game up. You need to get some game. You need to get some swag. Oh, man, you better stop tricking. 
Let me talk tell tell to the guys who say they anti tricking. Go talk that talk go talk that nonsense to the Arab dudes in Dubai who got more money than you will ever have in your life and tell them to stop tricking. Because they spend hundreds of thousands of th- they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on women to fly them out. They bang your favorite artists. They probably had they probably banged uh Magnus Stallion, and they banging the, uh, uh, Ashanti, and they also Rihanna and all these other celebrities that y'all so drooling all over that you can't get with game and swag, and they just doing it with money, huh? Set it to their faces. Set it to some cartel guys that you a trick in their faces and see what's going to happen. See what all the guys who powerful and uh, successful bankers and all the people who, who, who are in business and, uh, Okay, in business, tell that to them to their faces and they got more money than you. But you don't hear ask for cash apps and stuff like that. These dudes got money. They don't need to ask for nobody on cash app and stuff and get stuff. It's a generous offer to these dudes. But the fact is, they're not online talking about, yeah, man, we need to work together, man. It's a brotherhood. Oh, tricking is bad. And- hey, man. They make more money than you because they got more time to make more money than you. All they got to do is pay for some chick to come over for an hour or two and get a sent her on her way. But you want to make fun of these guys who got money? But say it in their faces. They're going to laugh in your face and tell you that you you just a bum. Go ahead. Keep doing the game. What what has game got you in these past 40 something years? You don't have enough game to change the tide of what's going on. You can't even change it. Y'all said multiple times, oh man, why don't you just talk to the women and have conversations with them? Where your conversations at are changing this whole landscape. Your game and your swag and all that crap you talking about for the past couple of years, did it change the landscape? You even said that these women can't change. They don't they don't want to change. But the whole point of your game is so-called changing the mind of a female. But it only works one way. You can't take their power away with game and swag. But you want to talk about guys tricking? Come on, man. Now, some of these dudes, and I'm going to name a name. Obsidian is now so-called SYSBM, right? This is the same man last year. By the end of the year, I think at this time, who said, uh, let me, uh, let me try to find and do my research so I can be kind of like, uh, accurate about the whole situation about that. Let me see. Um, damn it. But like I said, Just last year, Obsidian was, he turned on, he turned on, uh, MGTOW men, talked about them, told them they broke stingy and cheap, um, trying to find it, trying to find it, uh, Yeah, I can't find that video. But it was last year around this time that uh, he turned on MGTOW and said that MGTOW broke stingy and cheap because Kevin Samuels told him that he lost money uh, catering to MGTOW people, right? So... That was last year about, I think, November or October, November, around the last bit of 2008. Magically, at the end of the 2019, because Miskler, 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 yeah, I need something to drink, man, again. Miskler is not working out for him like that. He not getting all the views that he wants. And his whole dating coach thing ain't really working out. And he having all this pushback. He's now picking up the mantle because he see SYSBM is taking off and gaining, gaining, gaining steam. He want to use this to get more subscribers and also use, use the calls. 
so he can get more numbers up for himself and get more cash apps. And I hope y'all don't fall for it because he wants to be the king of talking of he want to be the head runners of talking about SYSBM in his way, like he did with the everyday brother or all this other stuff that he was trying to say. And then it just shows you that this dude was just a simp in the size the whole time. Everything he said on his, everything he said with the lies with O'Shea about paying a hundred percent and all this other stuff, it was all the stuff that he so-called went against last year. I hope you SYSBM dudes will listen to this video and don't get used by by Obsidian, man. I hope y'all understand that this dude is trying to use y'all y'all movement to make money for himself. I hope y'all understand this, man. And I hope y'all don't fall for this because I seen, I seen this, I seen just the number of guys like saying things like, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, let's see, mm, trying to find it real quick because I don't want to make this. So what exactly is this what MGTOW is about? Another version of, of MGTOW. MGTOW. We started MGTOW and SYC me better know. Black men have far more go their own ways than white men white men do. White men guys try to sell the idea that white women just just as messed up as black women. And uh, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, once again once again, old man, welcome aboard. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many times y'all gonna get fooled by this guy. And it's sad to see y'all just falling for this again when I'm proud that a lot of guys are not really believing this. Like mad bus drivers not coming on the side saying, yeah, man, look at I hope y'all listen to mad bus driver and everybody else who was before Obsidian and keep that way if y'all gonna give anybody money and stamp and, and cash apps, give to people who was before him, because they're not they they're, they literally make videos about guys just leaving, and they got their own version of SYSVM, their own iterations where you know Mad Bus Driver tells you and shows you the visuals of uh black men getting with other races and saying leaving black women alone, but then we got other guys talking about, yeah, man, you know, that's why SBM ain't, ain't about just leaving, about leaving, uh, no, we're just leaving certain black women alone, but I'm telling y'all, man, y'all going y'all, 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 y'all cause is going to get diluted and y'all going to start having infighting like MGTOW had infighting, remember, and it, we had all these fake MGTOW guys and they started fighting each other. And that broke up the whole group. That broke up the whole. They had an infighting. I remember all these MGTOW fighting with each other. The one Miggy 101 versus uh, F Turf Flinging Monkey. And Turf Flinging Monkey versus the other dude in his camp. Then you had the other. It had so many other guys that had wars with each other. You know, you had the, the, the Indian dude, uh, Yogi. When he tried to use MGTOW as a way to grow on his subscribers and they turned on him. Then uh, Undead Chronic versus uh, Mickey. And then Solo TV 84 came in at And then he backed all of that because the MGTOW guys got at him. It was a mess. I'm telling y'all guys. I'm warning y'all guys. Don't let guys like Obsidian or BGS or any of these guys take y'all movements. And then use it for their own gains because they're going to dilute your movements. And then the next minute you know that so-called SYSBM, so-called SYSBM channels are going to have female minds on there. And females on there going back and forth. Oh, she's the unicorn and she's the different woman in the SYSBM movement. I'm telling y'all, these dudes want to be kings. I need y'all to try to have a code. Like a code that I actually... Uh, thought up like first don't let married men in single men spaces unless invited vote people off based off the chat and the subscribers meaning that if somebody's causing trouble in your chat or in your comment section and everybody says that they don't want this person in the chat or the comment section you kick them off these are codes that y'all should live by in y'all in y'all movement don't let people 
Don't let people talk down. Don't let people talk on panels who talk about your support, your, your, your supporters and your subscribers. So don't let anybody who, who don't let anybody on the panels talk about anybody in the chat or your supporters. So anybody who do cash app, those guys are VIPs when it comes down to your priority. So if somebody on a panel talking to crap to people in the chat, you you check them and tell them don't do that. He's a, he's a supporter. He's a subscriber. He does more than you. Get rid of people who cause drama in the chats or in two faces. People who jump back and forth, jump back and forth. Um, watch the person's activity and videos to see where the person is at before invite before you invite it, uh, invite on panels. So you got to stop letting certain people on your panels. If you going to, if this movement going to be serious, stop letting people on the panels who in another panel talking trash about certain people. And then you let them on your panel because it ain't called an echo chamber. You let them on it. You let them on a panel. If you do allow them on the panel and let them and let them, uh, let them explain themselves on why they keep going back and forth, and then let them be, let them, let them hang themselves with 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 their words, right? Open up opportunities for other people to be a part of the group. You don't have to follow none of these tenets, but it will be good if if y'all started making codes and rules for these. For this whole thing. Because y'all don't want what happened to the black manosphere to happen to SYSBM. Y'all don't want that to happen. Y'all want to save yourself black men because I'm not SYSBM. But I, I like the whole premise of it because I've been doing this for years. I'm a free agent. I call myself the free agent. Some of the stuff that I've been doing, some of the stuff that's been popping up lately... It, it confirms the stuff that I've been doing for years. And I do care about the movements because I do want the movements to grow. But I don't like when movements are taking over because I've seen a lot of, like I said, the MGTOW, Red Pale Space, and all these other people. I've seen it fall. I've seen infighting and stuff. Just have your own code of conducts when y'all making your SYSPM. Any new, any new um, channels that y'all create... Make some rule and regulation. If you were SYSBM whole thing, make sure you have rule and regulations if you make panels or, or things like that. Because these people are human leeches who trying to use your call. And they're going to suck you dry of all your, all your subscribers just like the women did in the black manosphere and they grew and they grew and they grew. Same like these game guys and these dudes keep putting these different dudes on. Guys like Obsidian, he had put on so many women and gave women so much, so much leeway. They got so many subscription because of them, then they turned on them. Nicole Michelle turned on them. Uh, the other chick that I had beef with turned on them. The other chick left YouTube entirely. Uh, 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 what's her name? Kara, Kara came on here trying to get, I think, a channel or whatever, right? Um, Concrete Rose and the other chick on here, Daniel George came on here on his channel. And he was constantly having it. Irene Vet came from, um, um, what was his name? O'Shea. Uh, same thing with Paris Milan and all these other people. It's like, this is supposed to be a man space, man. Y'all got to y'all got to look at the mistakes of these dudes and make sure y'all never make the mistakes like these dudes ever again. Are y'all going to be sucked dry by these human big behind leeches that are coming at y'all and using y'all movements? Like it, it's like it's like this. <laughs> it's like I had enough fake people I got so many screenshots and so many scenarios. I had enough fake people, man. I want to see some real people with real movements and with, with real, with real golf and real and real codes that they carry themselves. I'm tired of just people just talking. All these two-faced people 
that just jump from chat to chat, live to live, panel to panel, saying something different on the panel than going on a channel and be like, yeah, man, you know, uh, 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 yeah, y'all, y'all don't do, y'all don't do this and this and this. And this. I'm tired of the two-faced people. I'm tired of have to deal with them in the chat too, man. Y'all should just. <sighs> when you look at the mafia, right? Sometimes you had an organization. And you sometimes you had to ask permission to take somebody out by the top men or to kick guys out of of, of the whole organization. You had to have the top men. But in all these organizations, these top mafia organizations, you not see not one woman in there. When they get arrested, it's all the men. The mafia ran for about two. The mafia, their highest power was about 60 years. The black manosphere didn't even last that long before they let women come in here and distort and destroy it and come in the chats and destroy everything, giving them mods. How is it other races of guys know how to keep a man club a man club for so long without them sitting there getting talked about and saying they're, they're homosexual and all this other stuff and they having sex with each other and this and this and that? These dudes reign power. They use money to gain more power. They didn't see it as tricking. They see it as an opportunity to control somebody's uh control somebody's normal uh some some control decimals for other people. Cause they know how hard it was for people and they control the minds and the skill labor of everything. And they didn't trust the women to do anything. Come on, man. All these guys. When you see pictures of the top guys in, in, in the mafia. What do you see? Men. Just men. Not women. They didn't let women sit in their, their tables. They didn't let women uh they didn't let women go on their talks and interrupt people. They didn't let anybody talk down to their soldiers. The top guys respected everybody at the bottom. And they didn't let anybody outside of the organization talk bad about Anybody at the bottom, if anybody touched a made man, it will be consequences. Anybody outside of that organization touch a made man. And that's what we suppose, that's what it's supposed to be. The black man is that was supposed to be in these black spaces. That's what it was supposed to be. Everybody's supposed to matter as long as they get it, keep with the drama, without the drama. Everybody's supposed to matter. Not certain people. Or oh, who's that? Oh, you this this guy's a loser. You supposed to check. You supposed to do what just what what man of tomorrow did to see over. Hey man, if I see him on any chats, I'm gonna block him on every single chat room. I don't want him in none of the man spaces. That's what you supposed to do. You supposed to check out certain guys that talk that rhetoric and kick them out right away. And that gives them nowhere else to go but the channel that they serve, the channel and the people that they like the most. They don't have nowhere else to go. But you letting them just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it, and it makes you look stupid. It makes your movement, your channels look stupid and not authentic. The mob will not let another mafia dude join their mafia unless it has some type of some type of uh, benefits to them. But they wouldn't let guys just switch over. You wouldn't see a mafia dude jump to another mafia, then jump to another one, and then another one, another one, another one, another one. The dude would have been knocked off already. All men. You see it all men. Nobody called them names. No one said nothing. The women sat back and let the men do what the men do. No one can come up to them and tell them, oh, this is this is all men. This must be some kind of homosexual club because y'all don't like women. Like. They never had that kind of shame in their in their culture, but you let these women and these 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 mind control dudes let you talk down to you because you like Brian Solange is the only guy that I know who don't be interacting with nobody on here, and, and not just not just him, but there's a lot of other dudes that I see that um on that tip or not being in these chats, and I and I, and I salute these dudes. 
are not to participate in the chat because they tired of seeing the women in the chats and tired of them causing trouble and tired of these sick dudes letting letting this ride out. Like, man, like... <laughs> How is it that, that's my last thing, how is it that other races the dudes can create things without women and they keep women in, outside of their organization for so long, but every time black dudes create something, y'all always got to include women, it's like y'all the most, like I said in one of my other videos, and, and I, let me see my, where my other uh, video at and what it was titled, right, let me see, because I was spot on when I said that about about black men. Like y'all y'all proven all my videos right. Y'all are proven all of my videos right. And it's just it, it's a shame that I have to be right about y'all. It's a shame that I gotta be right about y'all, but it's like man, it it it's just it's crazy how Y'all just, I mean, it's crazy how y'all let women just run around and do whatever they want, man. And it's, y'all always have to include them into every single thing. Y'all can't even have your own space without them. And y'all don't even want to put y'all, 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 uh, y'all foot down when it comes to them, man. Uh, women want slaves for themselves. Yup. Um, that video is, uh, uh, black women want slaves for themselves, and I, I talked about them wanting dudes to be slaves for them. Um, where's the video at? My other video just ran true. Stay away from other black women. I mean, stay, stay away from other black men who you. What? Stay away from other black men when you different. trying to find that I talked about this with the two-faced black men too um my video when I said black men with small penises the hard truth which I talked about that it got 48 views rejected black men are the most abused in America the dark side of relationships but I'm not gonna not not be that right there um Damn, I can't find it. Let me. I, I got. I know it was about uh, because I got a lot of videos. Um, I talked about the black, black, uh, black civil war, um, the suppression of black men again on both sides. They want to use. They want to be. They want to. They want you to be their slaves to use. Uh. Don't let other men's standards dictate your, uh, don't let other black men's dictate your standards. I've made the video about, uh, the, the war on unattractive men. Take what you can get, black men, beta male support. Uh, let, let, let's see, let's see, um, trying to find it, uh. Stop supporting black male slaves. Damn, I don't know what the title it was, but I know I said something. I know I know I had it on there about um I can't remember it. It was but I, I Okay, it's it's getting up there. Well, I I just keep talking until I try to find it. Um 
it was a uh, good men are disposable to black to the black community. Uh, no lighthouse. Good black, a good black, you know, a good black man's reward for his hard work. Uh, the truth about confidence. Uh, queens. This and that. Rejected the dark side of dating. Date on your level overseas. The reason why black rich black men marry black uh black women. I know it was somebody. Somebody can't comment on it. Uh, this, uh, let me see. Yeah, everything ran true. I mean, I, I can't find it, but it was um basically that basically I was tell I was talking about how uh how they want you to take what you can get. I think it was about that one. You, you get to, they 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 want you to take what you can get, and they don't care about you, and they they don't care if you. You know, you fall on the ground, you die, whatever, whatever. Um, oh, here, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. And I got 50, I got 50, uh, I got 50, uh, likes on this video. There we go. I, I know what it is now. I said most black men are the most controlled. Uh, most black men are controlled by women and don't have your best interests. So pretty much I broke it down in that video and I'm going to say it again. Most black men are controlled by women and don't have your best interests. Meaning that it's run true. Most of these women, most black men out here are controlled by women. There's no running around it. It's no talking no it's no saying no it's not it's no this and that my experience the way i look at it this is back in july july 22nd and all the stuff that i had to see even that title alone just shows you that i was right half of my videos that i talked about it came right true about the stuff that we're dealing with right now I'm telling you, man. Let me see the, the thing. The black community is run by women. Blah, blah, blah. You're right. I don't know. I don't think it's most. you talking about with simps. Not all women. Yep. Classic. Yep. Man of Tomorrow. Yep. Man of Tomorrow is over here. You and Man of Tomorrow are speaking the truth. Yep. And this was my highest one, my highest viewers one. I got a whole couple high view ones with five hundred past five hundred. Um, yeah, that came that rang true. So I'm gonna just cut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this off now. Sysbm dudes, take care to this. Take heed to this warning. Don't let anybody uh, take your calls up and try to run with the flag. Control who you give your flag to and control who you let in your ranks 
and and and, and create initiation so people can actually say that the SYSBM instead of saying the SYSBM and then a year later back in 20 in at the end of the 20 uh 2020 they are something else and they talking about you at the end and saying you're broke stingy and cheap so you know i just wanted to get that out so you know man what the okay